started, I guess it's about three and a half years ago. I went to a show in Ottawa. I'd never been to a burlesque show before. And as soon as I saw everyone on stage, I was like, how come I haven't been doing this my whole life? This is my thing. Uh, I took so many different types of dance growing up and this just seemed like the best way to put everything together. So I took a lot of uh, jazz and ballet and whatnot growing up and uh, different things like belly dance and pole dance and everything as I got older. So I'm a, basically a retail store manager. So that kind of keeps me going. Uh, 40 hours a week and I do all my classes and everything on top of that and all the shows at night. And so I teach on Thursdays at Cherry Blossom uh, down by Saint Laurent and then I'm at uh, here, Dance with Atlanta, on Sundays from uh, 1 to 5 and then I also teach at uh, Carleton University on Friday nights. Uh, with Dance with Atlanta, we have two performance groups, so they spend eight weeks working on one dance, and then at the end, they perform at uh, one of the burlesque shows in the city. There's the Evening of Sin, that's the second and the last Tuesday of every month at the Rainbow Bistro. There's the Bourbon Room that runs every single Wednesday. Uh, there's Fat Boy Smokehouse with Capital T's the first Friday of every month. Um, also Capital T's is at Kinky the third Sunday of every month. Uh, then there's special ones like now and then at uh, House of Targ or uh, Cabaret Live at Live on Elgin. But I started teaching very shortly after I started performing so it's been about sometimes seven, five to seven classes a week for three years. So there's quite a few students that, um, especially the ones that do the group performance class that go on to do solos and um, anyone that's kind of spent a couple years that just sort of gets into it on their own after. And it's always so nice to see your students up there doing their thing. There's so many different styles for burlesque and you know, there's so many, you know, so many strippers have different styles as well, that it's hard to say the gigantic differences, but I mean, legally, depending on where you are, you usually have to wear pasties, you have to keep a thong on, so you have to keep mostly covered. And other than that, you can do whatever you'd like. So <laughs> I think it's just the more people hear about it, the more exciting it becomes. Because even myself, I didn't know there was burlesque in the city until three and a half years ago when a friend took me to a show. And it's been around for years, but I just had no idea. And I think as soon as people find out, then, you know, they start going, they start bringing friends, and then they hear there's classes, and then they start going, same thing, bringing friends. So I think it just slowly kind of balloons out of there. Well, it was actually my husband and he's like, I think you should do this. You're turning 40. You're great. Why don't you give it a try? So that's how I got into it. I've never done anything like this before. Nope. I have never been a dancer. I've never done any kind of group choreography or anything. So this is all new. This is about turning 40 and my husband, absolutely. And I think uh, he likes the concept of, uh, you know, having a wife who's you know, outgoing and vivacious and uh, he fully supports it.